Hi, hello everyone. My name is Mark Nelson. I'm the EVP of Product Development here at Tableau, and I'm joined today by Kedar Doshley, the EVP of Product Development for Einstein Analytics. And we're gonna talk about how we're building the best analytics platform by bringing together Tableau and Einstein Analytics. We're gonna talk a little bit about how we see the two products, how they're coming together, and a little bit of what the roadmap looks like um, together going forward. First, everyone's favorite slide from the lawyers, our forward-looking statement. Just a reminder that we're talking about plans in the future and you should treat them accordingly. Great, with that out of the way, let's start talking about how we combine together these two amazing products. So when Salesforce acquired Tableau, we started looking at the two, the two products that we had and how these things interact with each other. It was very quickly apparent that they're very complementary products with very complementary technologies. Sure, they both say analytics in the name, but you know, they really were tailored for different use cases and using different technologies. When you look at Tableau, it was really about exploration of your data using visual analytics. You know, the power of VizQL that, and the richness that really allowed you to explore your data, answer that next question, and create amazing, rich visualizations. With that belief, it was data from anywhere. It's being able to connect to live data, to extract your data into Tableau, to connect to data wherever it was, wherever it came from, however you wanted to. And flexibility of, of deployment, be that on-premises, be that into infrastructure as a service or our fully managed SaaS offering. When you look at Einstein Analytics, it was built into the Salesforce application, deeply natively integrated. Everything from customization to being able to appear on every screen to tying into the actions of really being embedded inside of that Salesforce application. Optimize for Salesforce data. Einstein Analytics allows you to get to Salesforce data, to massage it and prep it for analysis and, and then uh, have it staged for distribution at scale all within the, the Salesforce trust domain. And enterprise AI and ML capabilities, the really amazing abilities to create predictive models, embed that into your analytic experience inside of the application and drive the next action and insight. It became very apparent to us that we want to build an, a platform that combines those two technologies together, that caters to these very different use cases that we have and puts all of that technology into one seamless platform that does all of that and more. So with that, you can see here on this slide, this is a, a quick you know, block diagram of what the product looks like today. And of course, they were, they were built somewhat differently for slightly different use cases as two standalone products. That's what we have today, that they're very complementary and, and sit nicely next to each other. What we'll be doing over time is pulling this together so that it is a seamless end-to-end -end platform. We'll be starting with the AI ML piece and bringing that predictive modeling capability that exists inside of Einstein Analytics today and bringing that into Tableau as well so it cuts across the platform. Next, we'll start working on making sure data flows nicely between them so that all of that amazing Salesforce data that you can keep inside the Salesforce trust domain with EA is available for that exploration experience inside of Tableau. And that data that you can get from anywhere and prepare inside of Tableau can flow back into EA and be available for that deep native um, consumption experience inside of the application. And then over time, you'll see that all the other layers of, the, of, of our two um, applications come together as well so that you really get that seamless experience all the way from that exploration inside of Tableau, working on data from anywhere, including Salesforce data natively inside of the Salesforce platform that you can then you know, apply your, your favorite AI and ML techniques, do predictive modeling and publish that all out again, wherever you wanted to, to the standalone Tableau experience, deeply natively inside of Salesforce or embedded into your favorite application, wherever that is. So that's generally where we're going to, again, bring these two great products and two great sets of technologies together into one amazing platform. To talk about some of the specifics and show you a bit of where we're going, I'm gonna turn things over to Kedar. Thanks, Mark. So like Mark said, the first step in this journey 
is bringing AI to the entire platform. We're gonna take Einstein Discovery and extend it to Tableau. The first product we're gonna build is a dashboard extension. So you will be able to bring in Discovery into your visas. The second one is the analytics calc capability. So you'll be able to bring predictions and materialize that on your data sets. And finally, doing this in bulk in Tableau data prep, you can add predictions to your data sets. To show you exactly what this is going to look like, I'd like to introduce Phil Cooper, the VP of Product Management of Einstein Analytics. Take it away, Phil. Thanks, Kedar. I'm gonna take you through those three integrations in very brief demo vignettes, starting with the dashboard extension. This is all about arming the viewer and consumer of Tableau dashboards with predictions uh, to give them a lens into the future and give them more actionability over their data. So I'm gonna add an extension here and I'll load this up. And then the first thing it's gonna have me do is authenticate to Salesforce. That's where I'm hosting the models that we built with Einstein Discovery. So I'm gonna log in here, it's gonna do an OAuth. That's great. I go back to Tableau. And then I'm presented with this dialogue that shows me all of the predictions that I've deployed inside Einstein Discovery. So this would be an analyst setting this up, but for consumption by many end users. So I'm going to pick this particular model to predict for a ton of our shipments. And then I'm going to decide where I'm driving that from. So in this case, the return rate table. I can get, I have to do a mapping. So this is Einstein Discovery is, has built, trained a model on a certain set of data. And there may be a disconnect between that and what you're looking at inside Tableau. So I'm going to map this one missing field. Uh, give the prediction a name and a unit, call this percent. And I can also choose how to aggregate multiple predictions that come back. So what will happen if we start to click on any of the other visualizations that are filtering, we're going to drive uh, data out to the prediction service and get results back from Einstein discovery. So you're seeing an average uh, return likelihood for, in this case, all the open orders in Tennessee. If I look at, say, the phones, our top selling category, we're going to get another prediction. These are a bit higher return propensity. And we get predictive factors, whether they're positively or negatively correlated with the outcome uh, and combinations of dimensions here. And then also sometimes improvements, candidate improvements. So if I drill in a little bit more on this, this uh, scatter plot here, these large orders of phones going out to Tennessee and some other states, I can see both the drivers, but also things I might do to improve the propensity for those to be um, returned. In other words, reduce the likelihood that those will change the shipping mode. That's the first vignette. I'm going to move across to the next one. And this is all about arming that analyst persona, more of a power user to use that same prediction capability that we deliver through Einstein Discovery, but consume the predictions natively inside the visualization rather than in that case inside a, an extension. So what you're seeing here is a different set of data. We're doing a numeric prediction here of household income. And as I do the same thing, as I facet around my data, you're going to see uh, the resulting visualizations change. So if I look at, say, Florida or Texas, you'll see on the bottom right-hand side that the scatter showing the relationship between revenue and predicted household income is changing. So we're doing the same thing. We're sending this data over the, over the wire to the prediction service, getting results back, in this case, rendering them in a, in a visualization and drawing a trend line. This has been set up with the analytics extension. So for those of you familiar with Tableau here, this works by the analytics extension API. I connect to Einstein Discovery, and I would, in this case, I'd enable that connection uh, to be able to call the API and bring predictions in natively here. Finally, I'm going to move over to Tableau Prep. Now, in some instances, you might want to persist the predictions and burn them into the data set and then use them pervasively across the whole organization. Uh, so we, we're building that integration pattern as well. So I have a very simple flow here, bringing the same data that I used in the first vignette, that order data, uh, cleansing it, and now there's a new node available for me to add in prep called prediction. Uh, I've already authenticated to Salesforce. So in this case, I'm just going to hit select predictions and it's going to show me that same list that you saw before. These are all the prediction definitions that we've deployed. I'm going to pick the, this return propensity one. 
and then I can choose whether to include those some of those predictors and improvements. So I do this, I might want to say, let's bring in two predictors, let's skip the improvements, and let's again do our field mapping for us. So we'll apply that. Now what's going to happen with these 100 records is they're going to be sent to the service as a preview, and we should see uh, predictions being appended here, yes. So you'll see this column has been populated by Einstein Discovery along with the predictors and improvements in that. So these are the predictive factors, the features in our model and their importance. Those are all persisted here into the data. So we can now use, uh, as we would with any other prep flow, we can publish this data out to a Tableau server or write to a database table now, or also generate a file. So I'm gonna quickly just run this to show you how it works. So we're sending that data through and now generating a hyper file. So that's it from me, a really quick uh, visibility into those three integration patterns that we're bringing uh, to the market early next year. We're super excited to arm all of the Tableau users with AI at their fingertips. Thanks and back to you, Kedar. Thanks, Phil. That was incredible to see AI natively inside Tableau. The next step in our journey is to bring the two data platforms together. And we're going to be able to open up the deep Tableau exploration capability on top of your Einstein analytics data sets. So you will get that scale, that performance, and that security of your Einstein analytics data sets, but within the exploration experience in Tableau. In addition, we're going to exchange data between the two platforms. So you're, we're going to write your Einstein analytics data into Tableau, and you'll be able to use Tableau prep to write your Tableau data into Einstein Analytics for use cases like Einstein Discovery. To show you exactly what that will look like, I'd like to introduce Alex Toussaint, the VP of Product Management for Einstein Analytics, to show you this journey. Thank you, Keda. So today I'm going to show you how Tableau is going to connect to the data store from Einstein Analytics and get all the benefits of high performance, horizontal scalability, other security from Salesforce, and no need to buy extra hardware. So first, let me show you a large data set. Let me open our transactions data set. As you can see here, I have 10 billion records. Let me group that together by owner. As you can see, we just did an operation with 10 billion records, super fast. Let me show you now how that's going to look like from, ta from Tableau. So moving to Tableau, you will see under the connection panel, just like all the other connections, all the other connectors, you see the Einstein Analytics data store connector. Very easily, you can pop that, fill in the blanks. In this case, I'm connecting to my prearranged data set that you just saw. And let's take a look. So now I'm inside Tableau. And you can start to perform all the amazing explorations, leveraging the power of Tableau directly against the Salesforce CRM data with all the performance, the high scalability, horizontal scaling, all there ready to go. As you can see here, we have a data set with 10 billion records. And I go through the different owners of the, my data sets, the different players here, we can see how quickly we can get responses back, transversing billions and billions of records super easy in the speed of thought. So Kedar, this is how we're gonna be able to get Tableau to talk to the Salesforce data and go through the billions of records and get the wonderful performance combined with the power of the Tableau exploration. Back to you. Thanks, Alex. That looked incredible to see that data in Tableau with that incredible scale and performance but still on the Salesforce trusted platform. So when this platform comes together, as you can see, you will be able to connect to any data, including special connectivity to your Salesforce data. With a deep understanding of your Salesforce implementation and configuration all brought into the analytics platform. The powerful visual analytics of Tableau combined with the deep AI capabilities of Einstein discovery within the analytics platform. And finally, the experience available to all your users, non-CRM, as well as a native Salesforce experience with the deep actionability inside the Salesforce platform. To highlight 
this incredible platform and the coming together of two incredible products. We are bringing together our analytics products under the Tableau brand, and we are renaming Einstein Analytics as Tableau CRM. With that, I'd like to thank you for your time, and we look forward to partnering with you on your analytics journey.